Don't miss your chance to play detective with To Tell the Truth at 2 p.m. But now it's time for Gossip with the Stars. Tattletales with Burt Convy is next, only on Game Show Network. On Game Show Network, anyone can win terrific prizes like this. Ashley's Top Flight Bedroom Group, High Gloss Ebony Finish, High Pressure Laminate Top, Solid Wood, Center Glide Construction and Moldings, Decorative Brass Accenting from Ashley. So register now. To play any of our interactive games, call 800-537-GAME. It's fast, it's fun, and it's free. Just register once and you can play forever on Game Show Network. You're watching Game Show Network. Everybody in this audience has a money stake in one of our celebrity couples. Playing for the red section, makeup artist Jeffrey Hamilton and from Happy Days, Aaron Moran. Playing for the yellow section from the new CBS series Empire, Edward Winter and his wife, Linda Foster. And playing for the blue section, Steve Allen, his wife, Jane Meadows. Places, please. As we play the game of celebrity gossip, Tattle Tales. And now here's the star of Tattle Tales, Bert Conley. Thank you so much. Thank you, everybody, so much. Welcome to Tattletales. Nice to have you with us here. Nice to have you at home with us. We have some, uh, some rookies with us today. Uh, two couples that have never been with us. You may have seen them. Uh, one, uh, one couple, one fellow, especially an old, old friend of mine. So we're going to have a nice week. Look, I'm looking into new cameras. We have little teeny tiny new cameras. <laughs> CBS, after 25 years, bought something new. I can't believe it. <laughs> They look like little Polaroids up there. We'll give you a picture of that later. Anyway, uh, hi, you guys. Welcome. Hi, Bert. Hello, Good there. day. Hello, Hello. Ed, Hello. Jeff. You are rookies, of course. And mm. You just watch how Mr. Allen does this. He knows how to do it. Ladies, are you all plugged in, ready to go? Yes, sure are. You look lovely. We will visit when you come out and all that kind of stuff. Uh, Steve, I was just watching you on the set backstage. Uh, yes, I was perched up there having lunch. <laughs> no, 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 you were... <laughs> oh, you mean a program I was It was, was a on. program that you were on. It I was, see. It was on, uh, KCET. It was the... It was on the PBS network, PBS yes. network, mm -hmm. yeah. It was about the swing era, right? That's what it was. I'm one of the original swingers. <laughs> I've heard that. <laughs> we, moving right along. Ladies, the voice question is for you. It's worth 150 bucks to your rooting sections. If you were gonna be stranded for a month on our famous desert island, would you rather be there all by yourself or with a sailor who had already been stranded there alone for five years. <laughs> okay, goodbye. A the month alone. The ladies? The ladies. Not you guys, just the ladies. <laughs> or would she rather be there with a sailor who had already been there for five years? Uh, I've I'm, I'm got my answer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Not being a sailor. Uh, Steve, what do you think? What will Jane say? Well, uh, Jane knows which side her bread is buttered on. I certainly hope so. Even though she is on a diet at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> she remembers which side used to be buttered on. And I think that, uh, seriously, being very concerned about the state of marriage in our society, she would uh, forego such possible pleasures as this dastardly sailor yes. would make available to her <laughs> and say no, she'd rather be there alone. Right. Do you think, what would, would the answer have been different if I'd said a year? She was going to be on the island for a year? No, a weekend maybe. That would be... <laughs> high no, sailor. I, I, she would hold to principle. I caught her holding to the principle of a high school in our <laughs> not long ago. She will, uh, she will be there alone for the month. Here yes. she comes. Jane, how will we find you on this island, alone or with a sailor? You would start with me. Well, you said he'd been there for five years. Yes. Stranded. Mm-hmm. I'd be scared to death. <laughs> I don't mind being alone. I think, I think, oh, gosh, but what would I do all alone? Uh, <laughs> Call what? a sailor. Oh. Uh, ooh, what would Steve say? I think... I hope he knows that I would, I'm pretty, pretty, you know, self-reliant. I think I would stay there alone. That's right. That's what he said, and there it is. <laughs> Little housekeeping. Thanks, Jane. Uh, Edward, see how they did that? It was so smooth. I know. It was easy, easy wasn't it? Got it right. They didn't have any problem. What do you think? What would Linda do in a case like this? Steve, what would Linda do in a case like this? What do you <laughs> That's the way to play it. <laughs> now, she's there for a month. Yeah. She's going to be there a month, no matter what. Time. Yeah. Well, Linda's 
Linda's very social. I mean, she she likes company and all that. I mean, that yes. would be, you know, what the rest would be a negotiation, I guess. I uh, <laughs> no, it's not. No, an agent, I think it's a sailor, I, Linda, but... Linda, 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 uh, yes, absolutely. Uh, will say alone. She'll stay alone. Alone. Yeah. W would have been different for her. I don't know why. I'm, you know why? I sort of lobbied to make it a longer period of time, but then I think maybe all the women would go for that. If it was a well, year, would she would she uh, uh, take the sailor? Probably, yes. Probably, yeah. Yes. That's, that's what I was hoping, yeah. you know, because uh, we had a, people are signing up in the lobby. You'll say, she'll say, uh, one month alone. Yes. Here she comes. Linda, what do you think? Uh, well, is he cute? Yeah, oh, he's a knockout, yes. Um, well, I really do not like to be alone. I mean, I don't like to be alone in the house. So on an island, uh, I would have to say that I would rather be there with, with, with him. With the sailor. No, that's not what Ed said. Ed said Ed. that you would opt to be there alone. I'm not going on location without you. No, never again. That's it. Because the fleet will be over at your house. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> Jeff, uh, uh, what will Erin say? She's a lot like Linda. I think she'd rather not be alone. I think she'd rather have the sailor there. Yeah, a month is a long time, really, to be stranded alone someplace, you know? Mm. And again, think of the poor sailor. We asked him this question. The lucky sailor. Yeah, lucky sailor. You'll say she'll go there with the sailor. Here, here she comes. Erin, well, yes. we need your answer. <laughs> I don't know if I could handle a month without a man. I'd say I'd like a man, a <laughs> sailor. You'll take the sailor. That's what he said. I'm glad to hear it. Erin and Jeffrey and Jane and Steve are right. Linda and Ed are wrong. But they'll get more right. We'll come back in a moment. Question number two. Don't go away, sailor. See you later. Credit card orders, call 1-800-223-4848 or send a check to the address shown. That's 1-800-223-4848. Oh, no! Attention bargain shoppers. For a limited time only, our very special customers like yourself will be offered The Price is Right with Bob Barker seven days a week at 9 a.m. Eastern. Imagine your delight as you play along with Plinko, any number, and the clock game. In the Showcase Showdown, you may very well win a new car. Not really, but you can't blame us for trying. So tune in to The Price is Right and shop, shop, shop only on Game Show Network. Okay, here we go. Welcome to John Burroughs High School, right? Is that the from, Bur from Burbank, right? I know you well. Thank you for coming. Um, Question number two. <clears throat> Listen, ladies, a young woman who's worked and put her husband through eight years of medical school is now getting a divorce. She's asking for half of her husband's professional earnings for life. Do you think she should receive this? Yes or no? Goodbye. Bye. Oh, I hear people in the audience answering already. Edward, the bananas need the money. We'll start with you. What do you think? What will Linda say? Hang in, bananas. We're coming. <laughs> Now, this is for life, we're yeah, talking. Yeah, that's right. But she worked you know, for eight years uh, yeah, hard yeah, to put him through medical years, school, and then, now he's uh, obviously a, a successful And he's fellow. young, so his potential earnings are really great at this yeah, point. Very you great, know. I would think, yeah. So, uh, well, what, what, will, what will Linda think of this? That's the way to play the game, by the um, way. Go by what she's going to say. Yeah. I, th I think she'll say uh, that she is not entitled to. Half for life. Half for life because that's that's a very that's a lot and i think she'll say not for life maybe for a certain period, for a of, time, period of time sure but not a percentage not for life. but we're yes yeah. we're making it very strong because that is what's happening that is going mm -hmm. on at the matter mm -hmm. at this moment so you'll say no uh, he's not or she is not here she comes india do you think she should receive this yes or no no that's right that's what he said 
Torres. See, bananas. Little faith. Have faith, bananas. Linda. What do you think? What do you think she should get? Maybe. What would be fair? Do you think? Well, I'm not quite sure how long uh, one goes through. It takes to go through medical school. Um, We've said, said eight, eight years. years. I think it yes, might be eight, a little longer than that when it's years. all finished. Um, I would say half of that. Half of the eight years, yeah. maybe? Like eight years. No, I would say that she should receive alimony. It is alimony. Uh, that she should receive alimony um, for about four years. About four years. So yeah. The earnings, in well, other words, half his earnings for four years. That doesn't seem like enough, does it? Well, wait, that's not the question, oh, gang. What are we doing here? <laughs> Hold on a second. Uh, Jeffrey, what will Aaron say? I think she'd say that a uh, woman would be entitled to the money for the whole life. You really do, for half the life? Yeah. Half of a lifetime. He yeah, she, in, she invested in this man's total future. That's true. You know, she well, made it possible for his whole future. Of course, it's not like investing in a Broadway show. I mean, if a man's going to be a doctor, and if he's less than an income poop, he's going to do pretty well, isn't That's he? Right. I mean, it's a pretty safe gamble. And, and without her? Okay, but he couldn't have done it without her. So you're going to say yes. You'll say yes. Here she comes. Aaron, yes. what do you think? Should she receive half of his earnings for life? Man, you know, I think maybe eight years, but not for life. Uh, that's not what he said. He said yes, that you would say that. Thanks, she went Jeff. for eight years. So you're giving different alternatives. And, and we did that, too, before asking the question. Steve, what do you think? What will Jane say? Well, again, Jane, uh, I think, will concentrate on the fact that this poor young woman, if I may so characterize her, worked her problem into the bone for yes. eight years on behalf of this lazy slob. However, Your Honor, I submit that we are not here to try the merits of this case, but just to predict how the witness will testify. Correct, sir. I'll be going home. No, no, please. <laughs> I think Jane, carried away by the emotion, the in potential injustice, will opt the for key word. the whatever your mouth said. Well, my mouth said uh, receive half of yes, the earnings for life. Until death do them uh, whatever. Do them, uh, they've already separated, so it can't be that. Until death do them die, probably, is what that's it what is. That's what I meant. Yeah. That's, that's what you meant. <laughs> okay. Death do them keel over. <laughs> here, here comes Jane. <laughs> Jane, what do you think? How much should this lady get, or should she get anything at all? Anything at all? Well, the question really isn't that. The question is, do you think she should receive half of his earnings for life? I do. Uh, that's uh, what Steve said. I Steve do. Said. Uh, Jane, at the risk of running over in a halftime, w w w put your two cents in. We've had everybody else's opinion of this. You see, I feel that those were the tough years, and a woman who worked while she was young for eight years and helped her husband through medical school should get every penny she could get. Okay. <laughs> the ladies love you. Jane and Steve and Linda Ned are right. We split it in half. It's halftime, guys. Step to the rear. Bring the ladies out front. Continue with the second half. I'll speak the press in just a moment. with the second half of Tattletales starring Steve Allen and his wife Jane Meadows from the new CBS series Empire, Edward Winter and his wife Linda Foster and makeup artist Jeffrey Hamilton and from Happy Days, Aaron Moran right after these messages. I can't believe it. She knew all about me. And all I told her was my name and my birth date. It was amazing. She saw me back in school, and I just sent for a training course. She told me that I had got a promotion on my job, and that's true. And the sample reading is free. One of the most incredible things that she asked me was if I had a fear of water, and it's true. It's like they've known you your whole life. I just planned a trip to Europe this summer. This is really true. She said I'd meet a tall Mediterranean man. I asked my psychic about children in my future, and she saw two, possibly twins. When I asked my psychic about the relationship I'm in now, she said not only will it last, but it's going to a higher level. Get your free 10 minutes now from Psychic Readers Network. Get the free time you need. Call now for 10 minutes free. PRN has the best psychics. You get a great reading, and it's free. Why do you think I let you call from my house? Get your 10 minutes free. Call now. Call 1-800-914-9443. All across America, women create curls that hold with a very special shampoo, Wash & Curl. Its special curl strengtheners really work. Wash & Curl, the curling shampoo. The smart way to lose weight. Control your appetite and get the calcium your bones need. Only permethrin does it. Appetite control plus calcium in one little caplet.
Brittle nails that break and won't grow? Get Nutrinail. Short, brittle nails grow in just five to seven days. Nutrinail. Short, brittle nails grow. Guaranteed. You know, we get 120,000 phone calls a month. More and more, homeowners want one loan that does it all. A lot of them are homeowners with less than perfect credit trying to refinance their homes. They want to refinance their first mortgage and pay off their high-rate credit cards and auto loans. That's why the Money Store introduced the Combo Loan. With just one loan, you can refinance your mortgage, pay off your high-rate bills, and usually get some extra cash. The Combo Loan at the Money Store. Call 1-800-LOAN-YES. Me. We are back after halftime. I have three lovely ladies with me. The fellas are in the back. Uh, Linda and Ed, it's nice to see you other than socially. I mean, we've been friends a long time. Ed, Ed and I were in cabaret together on Broadway. That's where we met. It was mm -hmm. in 1960... 67, no, 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 no. wasn't it? I think 67, yes. Ed. Um, Seems 60, only yesterday, doesn't 60, it? 68. 68, that's what I meant. I understudied you. Uh, and, and you and you played... Uh, I'm still understudying you on the tennis court. Never mind. And he's <laughs> yes, he's I'm good. looking forward to your series called Empire, which will be premiering on uh, CBS uh, January 4th, I believe. That's right, January so, 4th at 8.30. So we're enjoying it already, which is very nice. Fellas, this question is for you. Ben, which of the following do you find more attractive on a woman? Bare legs, nylon stockings, or leg warmers? Mm. Yeah. Goodbye. Oh, well, I happen to think this is a terrific question. I think it's a very good question. I'm just thinking about it. I love it. Uh, Aaron, what do you think? What will Jeff say? Bare legs, nylons, stockings, or, or, or leg warmers? Leg warmers. Oh. Stockings. Hmm? I'd say stockings. He really will? He loves to see my legs. Yeah? And mostly in skirts, so I'm wearing stockings, yeah. Yeah. What yeah. kind of stockings? Not those mesh ones. <gasps> <laughs> oh, yes. Very nice. Very nice. Looks like you're terribly sunburned there. All right. You're going to say, he will say uh, stockings. Yes. Here he comes. Jeffrey, Jeffrey, Jeffrey. Mm. Which, uh, what do you think? More attractive. On a woman. Mm. Nylon stockings. That's right. Yeah. That's Okay. Jane, what will Steve say? Well, I know one thing. There are few things that he hates so much as leg warmers. He thinks they're ugly. Oh, really? And I don't think he cares so much for bare legs. I think he'll say nylons. Think he'll say yeah. nylons? Yeah. I, better say I nylons. on the other hand, love leg warmers. So do I. I think do they are the sexiest thing in the world. Well, you're crazy. Really? Am I crazy? <laughs> or just a little... Well, never mind. <laughs> I think they're very attractive and very appealing, yeah. You know, you watch those warm-up wow. shows? <laughs> <laughs> Can't do the exercises. Oh, <laughs> Sorry. Oh, <we're> all... <laughs> You're going to say he's yeah, going to say I nylons, right? He's going to say nylons. Okay, here he comes. Steve. Oh, I thought your head was on upside down. <laughs> it is. You scared me to death. Uh, what do you think? What do you find more attractive? <laughs> what do you find more attractive, sir? The most attractive, if I may correct your grammar. Sorry. That's quite all right. It's more attractive, yes. No, it says on a card, more attractive. I know, the card's wrong. Anyway. <laughs> well, uh, first of all, I think leg warmers make a woman look like a Clydesdale horse. <laughs> <laughs> Me too, that's what I... <laughs> that's done. And, and I used to have a pet bear, and he had short, furry legs, so that's... Uh, I say nylon stockings. That's the one. You got it. Thank you, Steve. Linda, what, what will Edward say? What does he find most attractive? <laughs> most attractive? Yes. Um, I, I think he thinks leg warmers are a little clunky. Okay. He doesn't like them. Yeah, no, I don't think so. Um, bare legs. Uh, I, I gotta go with stockings. You're all, you're all gonna yeah. go with nylon stockings? Yeah. I'm shocked and dismayed. And also Irish. Here he comes now. <laughs> Edward, which do you prefer? Well, I'm putting it, I, I think um, leg warmers I'm, I'm not crazy about, um, and, and, uh, and I like a kind of tailored look, and that seems to imply nylon stockings, so nylon stockings. That's what hand. the lady said, you're right. Everybody's right, the nylons have it. Split it three ways, nice close game, we'll come back in a moment and break up that nice close game with a $300 question. Put your leg warmers on and we'll see you in a minute. It's in a jar, in the car, in a drawer, on the floor. It's all over the place. So where's your loose change? Well, it's time to cash in with 
the Money Wrapper. The automated coin machine that sorts, stacks, counts, and wraps your loose change in one easy step. You simply drop a handful of loose change into the Money Wrapper and watch. First, it switches on automatically. The Money Wrapper starts to spin and separates the coins. Then they're down the chute where they're sorted. Pennies, nickels, dimes, and quarters. Each coin drops into its own removable tube where it's stacked and counted. It's that simple. You just place the coin wrapper in the bank, and each counted coin is automatically wrapped by the money wrapper. Now it's a breeze to turn loose change into hard cash. And when it's all done, the money wrapper shuts off by itself, and you're left with sorted, stacked, counted, and wrapped piles of money. It's real money. Stop throwing it away. Just drop it in the money wrapper, and it does the rest. Neat, clean rolls of coins, sorted, stacked, counted, and wrapped at a rate of hundreds of coins per minute. So sit back and count your cash. And that's not all. When it's time to cash in, you simply pull the lever and the coins pop out in their neat stacks. So call and get your money wrapper today. The precision automated bank that sorts, stacks, counts, and wraps your loose change. And now, at the incredible breakthrough price of only $24.95. Heads or tails, you win. So stop throwing your money away and start growing your money today. The money wrapper. It's fast, accurate, convenient, even fun. It's a great way to get that loose change all wrapped up. The Money Wrapper. It makes perfect sense. Call 1-800-204-5959 to order your Money Wrapper for $24.95 plus $5.95 shipping and handling. Or send check or money order to Money Wrapper, 60 East State Street, West Warwick, Rhode Island. Call 1-800-204-5959. That's 1-800-204-5959. Okay, we're back. This one's worth 300 bucks, and this will decide the issue for the day. We have two-thirds of a tie. Uh, Ed, you and Jeff are tied with 125 bucks a piece. Steve, you have 200, but it's very close, so all three sections are still rooting and holding their breath and all that stuff. Men, you park behind a car. You spot a $100 bill peeking out from under its rear tire. The only way to get the bill is to bump the car a bit with your car. Would you do it? Yes or no? Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> um, I know you're thinking about it there, too. It's an innocent enough thing. I mean, you're not going to hurt the car. You probably only have to move it, well, I don't know, may, may a foot maybe you at the most. Um, with your luck as you're doing it, the guy will come out and yell whiplash. Um, <laughs> from the store. The store. <laughs> from the store. Linda, what do you think Edward will say? Oh, I think he'd do it in a minute. Oh, you do? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't have to think about that at all, did you? No, he's not that crazy about his car. I mean, he'd just do that in a minute. <laughs> he'd drive over the other car. Sure. Uh, the bananas love that answer. He's like, that's what, that's what they'd all do, right, gang? Yeah. Oh, they're, yeah. they're crazy. All right. You'll say, absolutely, he will do it. Here, absolutely. Here he comes. <laughs> Edward, is your choice, sir. What will you do in a case like this? Well, my vast knowledge of mechanics tells me that you can push a car a certain distance, even in gear. It's not going to hurt it, the, like, like, say, three-quarters of the length of a hundred-dollar bill. So I bump the thing, and I get the hundred dollars. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm, I'm not so sure. If the car has its emergency brake on and is in park, you know, if it's an automatic transmission, it's in park, can you, in fact, move it? Can you move it a little bit? Sure. Oh, you can? Sure, you can. Oh, you've tried that before, eh, Ed? <laughs> That's how I... Aaron, what do you think? What will Jeff say? Uh, yeah, definitely. I think he'd do it, sure. Think he would? Mm-hmm. Hmm. If it wasn't with a car, it would be himself. He'd just get out and push it. <laughs> get some guys. Hey, I'll split it with you. All right, he's definitely gonna, he's definitely gonna sure. do that. Sure. For a okay. hundred bucks, yeah. Well, I know, but for a hundred bucks, what if he ruins the car and a guy so comes out? what? He'd, he'd get out of there. He'd get out. He'd no. Okay, he'd run over him. Here he comes. No, no. Jeff, what will you do? I think I'd bump that car in New York second. <laughs> That's right. You got it. Proving to be very easy. I don't know if it would be. They're hard to come by, those kind of dollars bills. All right, we still have two-thirds of a tie. Yeah. They this both got it right. This is a very tough one for me. You are not implying that he would get the money to give it to the person. The idea is he would keep it for himself? Sure. Oh, no. Steve would never do it. He's not at all interested in money. Really? I'm the one interested in money. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> I would do it. do it. I would do it so fast. Well, he'd call you and you'd come over and do it for him. He wouldn't do it. He wouldn't do it at all? No. Not He wouldn't at all. care. He wouldn't do it for $1,000. He wouldn't? Uh-uh. You think he would? There's one guy in the blue section saying, oh, yes, he would. Yeah. Why, did he bump your car in the parking lot, sir? No. 
<laughs> he doesn't even have a checkbook. He He's doesn't. always saying to me, oh, do you have a dollar? Oh, oh. I know someone like nothing. that. <laughs> money is yeah. nothing to the no, man. No, we don't even allow him to have much money in his pocket. <laughs> We don't allow him. I, I, don't allow I take it. it all. I take care of all the finances. Poor Steve Allen's walking around with no money in his pocket. Because he gives it all away. I see. He <laughs> gives it, gives it, gives it. Well, I hope if but you I'm miss this, he's going to have to give some to the blue section because because <laughs> they're going to lose. Oh gosh. Okay. It's the toughest question for me. Yeah. Murder. Okay. Now, if it was you, you'd bump the car. Oh yeah, in a minute. Right. But mm -hmm. for him, he's. You're going to say. Smash the car. You're going to say no, right? Okay. It's a definite no. Here he comes. Uh, Steve, um, this will decide the game. As it often does, we come down to the last answer on the last question, and if you get it right, you will win for the blue section. If not, uh, Lyndon, Ed, and Aaron, and Jeff will come from behind and, and tie to win. What do you think? Well, first, Bert, I would survey the situation very carefully, because if that car is the only object holding the $100 bill down, it could be a paperweight put there by the Jolly Green Giant. You never know. <laughs> but in the absence of such unlikely hypotheses, I would, of course, bump it and pick up the money. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> she said you would do it. Linda and Aaron and Jeff are right. Snip the 300 bucks and half. Time is up. We have a tie. The bananas and the blue and the red section. <laughs> 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 Ten cents may not look like much to you, but sign up for Sprint Sense Long Distance now, and you'll be amazed at what this little dime can do. Every time I get another dime, I think about calling my agent for just ten cents a minute. So what if he puts me on hold? Barb, your agent's on the phone. Coming. Yes. Funny. Ever since I got Sprint's dime a minute rate, I can call anywhere in the country and know exactly what I'm paying every month. Nothing surprises me. Hi. Suddenly, it all makes sense. I work all day. So with 10 cents a minute nights and weekends, I can give myself the green light to talk. Call now and you'll get an extra bonus. 200 minutes free. Of course, I could pay more nights and weekends, but that wouldn't make sense. To me, the biggest bonus is I get 10% cash back. That's cool. With Sprint Sense, it all makes sense. See for yourself. Call now, 1-800-913-9719. When you open a can, you get razor-sharp edges that can cut like a knife. But now there's Safety Can. Safety Can actually penetrates the seal of the can, leaving edges that are incredibly smooth and safe. Advanced technology produces 100 pounds of cutting power. You're left with smooth, safe edges. It's amazing. Old-fashioned can openers cut the lid of the can, dropping it into your food. That's dirty. Yuck! But Safety Can's new technology glides through the seal of the can, leaving incredibly smooth edges. And when there's pet food left over, the lid pops back on. Get Safety Can today, only $19.95. Call now and get the Safety Jar absolutely free. Now you can open any jar or bottle with ease. Safety Can and Safety Jar, both for just $19.95. Call now. To order Safety Can, have your credit card ready and call 1-800-784-3311. Or send check or money order for $19.95 plus $5.95 shipping to the address on your screen. Sorry, no CODs. I'm Larry Anderson, host of Game Show Network's exciting interactive horse race game, Trivia Track. If you'd like to be a contestant on one of our interactive shows, Trivia Track, Super Decades, or Race for the Numbers, here's all you have to do. If you're a registered player, just watch for our colorful Winnie to fly across your TV screen like this. Then pick up your phone and call the number that's shown. It's that simple. Remember, you can only call in to play when you see Winnie fly across your screen. So watch for times throughout the day. Keep watching, and I'll see you at the races. You're watching Game Show Network. Next up, it's to tell the truth. Then, it's What's My Line. And then, it's the newlywed game. <laughs> Big winners today, we had a tie. Linda and Ed and Aaron and Jeff, two seventy-five dollars apiece. We had a thousand. Each section will divide $775. It was very nice. Thank you all. That was great for a great finish. And thank you at home for watching us on Channel 10. Very kind of so long. I'll see you right here today. In addition to cash awards, a member of the winning rooting section selected at random will also receive the winner misery for the Charicol system. Charicol D for cough, Charicol Plus for cough plus head colds to restore free breathing, uses directed. A walk in La Choy Chinese food lets your meals swing American with La Choy beans, sprouts, vegetables, water chestnuts, bamboo shoots, and soy sauce. 
Blistex soothes dry chap lips and helps relieve cold sores too. Blistex brings new life to dry chap lips. Use as directed. This is Johnny Olson speaking for Tattletail, a Mark Goodson, Bill Totman production. Find out what folks do to earn their bucks on What's My Line later at 2.30 Eastern. Coming up, get the facts with Gary Moore and to tell the truth next, only on Game Show Network. You're watching Game Show Network.